Today we can discuss the question from lead code weekly contest 186 diagonal traversal 2. You are given a list of list of integers nums. Return all the elements of nums in diagonal order in the following diagram as shown. So as you can see this is the traversal in the diagonal form and you have to print out this output array. This is the uh, matrix you are given. So the data input is 1 then 4 2 7 5 3 8 6 and 9. But the trick in this here question is all the length of the rows are not equal. The row, the length of this row is 5, it's 2, 1, 3, 5. So you cannot just do a simple traversal because let's see if you first do a traversal till here, which is very simple. But now if the length of this is 3, you will go through 3, 1, 2, 3. But this length can be too large which doesn't occupy in this thing. So the, the trick here is we cannot do just simple diagonal traversal but we can find out some pattern. So I've drawn this matrix. What is this index? It's 0 comma 0. What is this index? It's in the first row and 0 column and this is 1 comma 0. So as you can see the sum of the indices is 0 for this it's 1 for this if you do the same for this it's 2 comma 0 1 comma 1 and uh, 0 comma 2 so the sum of all the indices for this arrow is 2 then this for 3 4 and so on okay so now as we know first we have to print out all the elements with the sum of the indices total equal to 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 but we have to first also see that if we have two elements of the same uh, total value of row plus column we have to first print out the element which has the least column size because this is the column and column 0 column 1 so we can easily make a vector regarding these properties and we can sort it firstly according to the total of row plus column because if any element has a row plus column equal to 0 it will come first and then 1 then 2 and if we have two row plus column elements same we can sort it by the columns itself okay so that's a simple logic we can just simply use the sort function if in the sort function uh, you have multiple entries it first sort by the first entry and if two of the same entries are there it will sort it by second entry if the second entry also same it will sort by third entry and so on so we can just input uh, in the sort function accordingly okay so we first make first find out the nums of i size because the size is the total this length uh, the row length can be uh, different but the uh, the total number of the first length a number of columns number of rows we can easily find out because it's fixed okay then we can make a vector a vector arr in which first entry is row plus column second entry is this column and third entry is nums of row column Okay, so now we can iterate over i is equal to 0, i less than equal to n, i plus plus and for each row we have variable uh, row length so what we can do is j is equal to 0, j is less than end of for that we can find out nums of i size for its row length and uh, j plus plus then arr dot push back what we have to push back we have to push back i plus j then j and then nums of i and j okay so as you can see if we now sort this it is e easily can be sorted for by the first entry which is i plus j and then if i plus j is same we will sort by j arr.n okay 
So now we will make a final answer vector to finally output the answer for i is equal to 0. We will iterate over this ARR which shows all the elements and we push back an answer. error of i2 because in the third in the this is the zeroth point one and second so the second entry stores the value and you have to return answer you can check okay fine it's accepted i hope you understand the logic it's a simple problem if you still have any doubt please mention down and uh, thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one bye